The state of Mississippi has a lot to do with your survival. babies is granny karma back and i'm back to talk to you guys you know um i haven't talked to you guys in a while about uh the economy and things that are going on and i just want to post and say a little disclaimer before i even begin this uh, i am not an expert on anything here that i'm going to be talking to you about uh, I don't own any rights to anything that you're going to see, but it's all on the news and is on my computer, you know, accessible to me. And I want to share some of this information with you and I'm sharing it uh, to inform you and to let you know. And, you know, as a teaching type of a thing. OK, guys, um, what I want to talk to you guys about is. I want to talk to you about the Mississippi River. Yes, Old Man River. The big Mississippi River that I know and I see and I fear that everyone is overlooking it. We are not paying attention. There's a lot of things that we need to pay attention to, guys. And you know, things happen in states that are not, you know, like New York City or Chicago or California, but the state of Mississippi has a lot to do with your survival, your survival and what you have uh, on your shelf, what you pay for it and I noticed that there were some, if you type into your computer, just Mississippi River, I see many, many article, news article, ABC and GMA and USA Today. You know, everybody's writing about it, but nobody's really talking about it. I mean, no, just regular people like me and you. And that's what I wanna talk. I, we need to talk about the Mississippi River and the fact that it is drying up and the consequences that that imposes on you, you and you and me, okay? So let me just go to the article. Like I said, I'm not, we're gonna talk about it a little bit and I'm gonna tell you how much I think this is so very important and it's, it's have, will have a lot to do with a lot of us as far as being in the survival mode and how we're going to figure our way out of it before it really, really hits. It is, it is, it's, it's like the train is on the track, guys. It's on the track, it's on the track, on the track. We got to pay attention. And I think that this, what's happening with the Mississippi River is going to tip us really far to the edge. Let's get ahead of it before it gets over there, because I can see it coming. Okay, so this article begins with uh, a woman, uh, and I'm gonna read it. It says, Sandra Nelson crouched at a spot of riverbed that would normally be deep underwater, gathering rocks and jars of soil as souvenirs. Nearby, a man with a metal detector roamed the barren ground for treasures at twilight. A father carried his daughter on his shoulder to witness a sight not seen for generations. And it's gonna affect you. Get ready for it. This is, uh, I'm laughing, but I'm laughing to keep from crying in a lot of, in a lot of uh, cases that's going on around, you know, with the inflation, with everything that's happening with the crime, with, I mean, guys, should I go on and on? I'm going to stop right there. Let's get back to the Mississippi River. Um, it goes on to say, I had seen it in person 
Nelson, who lives 40 miles away in Sykeston, M.O., said Monday evening as she roamed the landscape that looked almost like a desert. You wouldn't believe this is the Mississippi River. The big Mississippi River. Uh, and I think from my reading, uh, Mississippi is one, I think it is one of the second largest uh, rivers in the world, like, I think. I have to go back and do some more research. All I know is that the Mississippi River is very vital to some foreign countries and to everyone here in the United States. I know that. I know that. And I know that we need, we need to pray, guys. We need to pray that everything works out for the good because we need rain. We need rain. Bottom line, we can't go and buy rain and fill up the Mississippi River. And, and the reason why it's so vital is because of course, the barges that go along the Mississippi River throughout other states, carrying grains and all sorts of supplies, tons and tons and thousands of, of pounds of grain that the farmers have planted and then they, you know, sold their seed and they got their grain, they whatever, you know, they, however they get the grain out, uh, the soybeans, things like that. Soybeans, you know, we need for a lot of things. We need it, you know, they use it for the cooking oils. Uh, just think if these type of grains and products cannot get down the Mississippi to, to us, to the distribution places or wherever it needs to go to get, you know, uh, processed for us, that automatically says we're going to be without some things. So what we need to do is do our research, look and see, what are you going, what do you, what's on the barges? What type of grain? What does that grain produce? You know, does one grain produce uh, vegetable oil or, or uh, soybean? You know, what, what kind of oils? That would tell me if it's stuck on the barges, I need to get to the store and I need to stock up on that. So I need to study more about what's going on with the Mississippi River. Um, because guys, I think this is, that's gonna be the, the tell all. If that collapses, we may all collapse from what we're overlooking, Mississippi. And there's nothing that we can do. It's not like the president can bring water down here. So nobody's really talking about it because there's nothing that we can do. Only God can give us that rain. Only God can give us the rain that we need. You know, there's boats that are sitting on muddy ground. Boats that would be sitting beautifully out in them on the river. And there's actually on the ground the floor of the Mississippi River because the water. There's cruise ships that have had to dock because they can't maneuver. I was reading a while back about an Alaskan uh, cruise line. People paid like ten, fifteen thousand dollars to go on a trip, and uh, because of the Mississippi River, they had to completely cancel that. So, guys, I really think I want you to pay attention to look at what grains, what do you need to go to the store to stock up on now? Because it's gonna be in short, short supply. Pay attention, pay attention to the little details that might turn out to be big details. Guys, I love you and I want you to remember how others treat you is their karma. How you respond, my babies, is your karma. 
Now there are some wonderful articles about it. Please look it up. There are some very informative uh, news, you know, reporting on, uh, look it up guys. This is the danger right here. The danger is right within, is here. But there's, but we can't do anything about it. We can only pray. But, but, but it's not like only because I believe if we all pray together as one, God would hear us. We need to pray for a lot of things. That's our water right there. Look at Jackson, Mississippi. Look at their water, guys. I talked to you about that. Look at their water. There's a, there's danger here. Imminent imminent danger and it's here and from here it spreads out so let's pray let's get together let's come together let's think about you know what's happening we're just like we're all sheep the prices are going up 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 and what can we do guys what can we do can we boycott can we say stop Stop the presses. What are you guys doing to us? Stop. When everything is high. And and on top of that, you know, it, it's all because of things that are not within our control. It's, it's wars away from us. That's not in our control. But then, you know, I'm not going to get into the weather and all of this stuff. You know, I'm not going to get into that because I don't know anything about that. All I know is right now, the Mississippi River is dry. Guys, look it up. There's all kinds of things that are coming up to the surface. Look it up. Look it up. There's people out there with um, metal detectors. They're out there with metal detectors. Walking the Mississippi River. Guys, thank you for listening to me. I just had to let you know that. I had to say, keep your eyes open, guys. Keep your eyes open. The Mississippi River, let's pray. That's all we can do. This other stuff, we can't do anything about it. We can't do anything about the Mississippi River, but we can at least pray in unison. Guys, I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep an eye on the good old Mississippi. See y'all later. Bye-bye, my karma babies.